When you're standing in front of a freezer full of frozen desserts, it's easy to get overwhelmed. There's ice cream, gelato, frozen yogurt, sherbet, and of course, sorbet. But among these, two often cause the most confusion, sorbet and ice cream. They both look similar. They're both cold, sweet, and refreshing, yet they're actually quite different in terms of ingredients, texture, taste, and even purpose. In this video, we're going to explore the fascinating differences between sorbet and ice cream, from how they're made, to what makes each unique, and why your choice between them might depend on more than just taste. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with ice cream, the classic frozen dessert that most people are familiar with. Ice cream has a long and delicious history, believed to have originated centuries ago in forms of frozen milk desserts. The modern version we know today is made from a base of dairy, typically milk and cream, mixed with sugar and flavorings like vanilla, chocolate, or fruit. But what truly defines ice cream is its use of fat and air. To legally be called ice cream in many countries, the mixture must contain at least 10% milk fat. This fat gives ice cream its rich, creamy texture and satisfying mouthfeel. During the freezing process, the mixture is churned at high speed, which incorporates air and prevents large ice crystals from forming. The result is a light, smooth, and creamy dessert that melts slowly on your tongue. Now let's move on to sorbet. At first glance, it may look like ice cream or even gelato, but sorbet is actually something very different. It contains no dairy at all, no milk, no cream, and often not even eggs. Instead, sorbet is made primarily from fruit puree or juice, water, and sugar. Because there's no fat or milk solids, the texture is lighter and icier, though when made well, it can still be incredibly smooth. Sorbet is all about highlighting the natural flavor of the fruit. If you've ever had a lemon sorbet that tastes like biting into a frozen lemon, that's exactly the point. Without the richness of cream, the pure fruit flavor shines through vividly. The biggest difference between ice cream and sorbet comes down to fat content and texture. Ice cream, with its cream and milk fat, is rich, dense, and indulgent. It coats the tongue and leaves a long, creamy aftertaste. Sorbet, on the other hand, is sharp, clean, and refreshing. It's often served between courses at fine dining restaurants as a palate cleanser, helping to reset your taste buds before the next dish. Ice cream tends to comfort and satisfy, while sorbet tends to refresh and awaken. It's a subtle difference, but once you pay attention, you'll never mistake one for the other again. Another key factor is how they're churned and frozen. Ice cream is churned faster, which whips in more air. That's why it feels lighter, despite being richer. Sorbet is churned slowly, or sometimes not churned at all, which creates a denser, slightly grainier texture. But with the right balance of sugar and water, and the perfect freezing technique, a sorbet can feel surprisingly smooth and velvety. The key is controlling ice crystal formation. In sorbet, sugar acts as a sort of antifreeze, preventing the water from solidifying completely, while in ice cream, fat and emulsifiers perform a similar role. The taste experience also differs significantly. With ice cream, the fat acts as a flavor carrier. It enhances richness and adds depth to flavors like chocolate, caramel, or nuts. That's why creamy flavors tend to dominate in ice cream. Sorbet doesn't have that luxury. Because it lacks fat, it relies on acidity and sweetness to balance flavors. This makes it perfect for fruits like berries, citrus, or tropical fruits, where natural tartness cuts through the sweetness. You wouldn't normally find chocolate sorbet at every shop, but when you do, it's an entirely different experience. Dark, icy, 
and intensely cocoa forward. Now let's talk about health and dietary differences. Since sorbet doesn't contain dairy or fat, many people assume it's a healthier choice. That can be true. Sorbet is often lower in calories and fat compared to ice cream. However, it can sometimes contain more sugar to make up for the lack of creaminess. Ice cream, meanwhile, contains more calories from fat, but the fat also slows down sugar absorption in your body. So from a nutritional standpoint, it's a trade-off. If you're lactose intolerant or vegan, sorbet is naturally a better option since it's completely dairy-free. Ice cream, unless specifically made from plant-based milk alternatives, isn't suitable for those avoiding animal products. But even then, vegan ice creams made from almond, oat, or coconut milk have entered the market to bridge that gap, offering creaminess without dairy. Another interesting distinction comes from serving temperature. Ice cream is served slightly warmer, around minus 10 degrees Celsius, allowing it to stay creamy and scoopable. Sorbet, being water-based, is often served a bit colder, closer to minus 12 degrees Celsius, so it holds its structure better. If sorbet warms too much, it melts quickly into a liquid state, while ice cream tends to soften into a silky texture. This difference in serving temperature also changes how your tongue perceives flavor. Colder sorbet gives a more intense, refreshing punch, while slightly warmer ice cream delivers a mellow, rich sensation. At the end of the day, the choice between sorbet and ice cream really depends on what you're craving. If you want something rich, creamy, and indulgent, something that feels like a treat, ice cream is the go-to. But if you're after something fruity, refreshing, and light, maybe on a hot afternoon or after a heavy meal, sorbet will hit the spot perfectly. They may share the same freezer, but they play entirely different roles in the world of desserts. So next time you're staring into that freezer aisle or scanning a dessert menu, you'll know exactly what you're choosing. Not just a flavor, but an experience. Sorbet and ice cream may seem similar, but they tell two very different stories, one of creamy comfort and the other of icy refreshment. And whether you're a fan of one or both, one thing's certain, life's a little sweeter with a scoop in hand. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.